Good morning and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk a little bit more uh, about the business side of things again and particularly about how you deal with your clients. Um, now most businesses in terms of their marketing strategies they either focus on hunting or farming um, and I'm going to get into detail about what that means and why I think as an artist it's important that you become a hunter and a farmer. So when we talk about hunting or farming, um, when we're talking about our whole kind of marketing strategy, it's important to understand what that means. And it's pretty simple. If you are in the hunter mode, that is all about acquiring new clients, uh, finding new people who you can expose your work to who can become potential clients. And that's always a very important part of any sort of business strategy if you want your business to grow. Um, but also equally as important is the whole idea of farming. And what farming is, it means treating the clients you have already had in such a way that they are going to come back and, and purchase from you again and again and again. And again, that's that whole idea I talked about yesterday in social media, whereas if you're farming, you're interested in the potential lifetime value of that client. If you're hunting, all you're looking for is that quick hit, that one transaction and then on to the next person. So I think as an artist, it's very, very important that you adopt kind of both mentalities because and then the hunting side of things, that's basically just getting your work exposed to as many people as possible um, and getting as, as wide an audience as you possibly can who can potentially purchase your work. Um, but the farming side of it is equally important, um, especially in terms of artwork, uh, where studies show that typically people who collect art, once they find an artist that they really love, they will on average buy three pieces over their lifetime. So the fact that someone buys one piece from you um, means it's very, very likely they're going to buy more. So it's very, very important to how you treat those people. So something came up actually Right over this weekend, we're having our big promotion for our, uh, our framed paper G-clays. And there's a perfect opportunity to kind of, um, in real time, show you what I mean by the difference between farming and hunting and how um, the decisions that you make are really going to be um, beneficial to you in the long term. So we have a sale going on right now, 20% off uh, all of our um, G-clay products at our online store. Um, and so that's... For sure, anybody who orders it is gonna get 20%. But we also have a couple other things going on. We have a G-Clay that we're actually shipping out today um, that was purchased a week and a half ago on our online store. Um, I have a client coming over today to look at G-Clays. Um, and then we also had an order placed last night um, where the person did not know about the sale or the discount code and did not input the discount code, so they paid full price. So as a, as a hunter, uh, you would say, oh great, I got, the, I got the full amount on those purchases and that's more money for me. Um, as a farmer, which is what I focus more on, that's totally the opposite. So you have to look at, first of all, which clients are typically gonna be more important to you that you, you want to have, have um, kind of in your fan base. So the people who buy because it's on sale, I definitely want them and I want them for future potential purchases. But the people who buy your work when it's not on sale, who just love the work and are going to pay full price for it, those people are more invested in you and your work. Um, so it's really, really important that you treat those people well. So what we are going to be doing in all three of these cases, we're going to be offering a rebate. So the, the client that comes today, whether she's aware of the sale or not online, is going to be given the discount. The person who made the purchase last night but didn't input the discount code, we are going to be rebating her the discount. And the purchase that we had two weeks ago um, that we're just shipping out now, we are going to rebate her the 20% off. 
Um, because what I'm really um, focused on, again, is the lifetime value of the client. Now, these people may never ever become aware of the fact that we had the sale on, um, in which case that would not impact me at all. But just put yourself in the position of if you were to buy something from someone at full price um, and then find out there was a sale going on that they didn't make you aware of, or right after you made the purchase, they then had a sale, um, you would feel a little bit ripped off. Um, and that may impact your decisions down the road, whether you want to give further business. But also imagine the other, the other side of it, that you make a purchase at full price, expecting to pay full price, and you're never aware of the sale. But that company comes back to you and says, oh, by the way, we had a big promotion going on that you weren't aware of. Um, we think it's only fair that we offer you the discount and rebate you the money. That's a hugely positive impact on how that person is going to view you and view your business and also make it much more likely that they are going to purchase from you down the road. Um, so again, that's when you're, when you're looking at your marketing strategies, it's like, yes, you need to be focused on hunting, on acquiring new clients and new fans of your work, but you also have to be focused on farming and really, really treat those clients, those past clients really, really well so that they're even more likely to come back and make another purchase from you. Now, I mentioned yesterday about our, uh, our Facebook promotions. I had a question about boosting posts on Facebook. Um, so that's a very simple thing. Basically, there's a number of different ways to advertise on Facebook. What I do is I just put out my regular content, whether it be a photo or whether it be a video. And if you do this on your business page, I'm not sure on the personal page because I don't actually deal much with my personal Facebook page. But at the bottom, there's a thing that a button that says boost. And what that does is it, it, it boosts the reach of your post. So Facebook has something called an edge ranking. Um, this is going to get fairly complicated, but I kind of can't talk about boosting without going into this. So what Facebook wants to do with all of their posts, if you are looking at your Facebook feed, there's potentially millions of posts that might come into the funnel of being in the top 30 or 40 things that you actually see. And what Facebook wants to give you is the things you are going to enjoy the most and engage the most with. So what happens once you put a post out there, just a regular post, it goes out to a certain percentage of people who already like or follow you. Um, and then based on what those people do, it will just kind of die a slow death or it will continue to go. And what Facebook measures is engagement. So Facebook measures likes, it measures shares, it measures uh, comments, not only comments from the person to you, but you commenting back to the person, which is why it's so important to answer all the questions and comment back to people who comment on your Facebook posts. Um, now that's what happens just within the, the regular organic reach of your, of your post. When you boost it, Facebook then expands the initial reach of, of that post, but then the organic thing still kicks in. If it's a, a regular post, say for example, for me on a regular post with no boosting, it might reach eight to 10,000 people. If I boost that post, it might reach 20,000 people. Um, if I sp spend $10 to boost it, it might reach 20,000 people. Um, and so double the reach for $10, which is actually pretty good value. But if it's an incredibly popular post that a lot of people are engaging with, a lot of people are, are commenting or liking or sharing, then it can actually go really crazy. So I've had some posts that have reached over 200,000 people for like a $20 boost on them. Now it won't go to 200,000 people for a $20 boost unless it, it's an incredibly engaging post that people um, either like or respond or share with. Um, but that's the whole idea of posting, uh, or sorry, of boosting, but also within boosting, you can set your target audience. So for example, for this promotion, which is really just targeted at the US and Canada, when I boost the post, um, so I've done two, posts on Facebook, one video and one picture post yesterday promoting this sale. Um, one of them, I boosted it to men and women living in the US and Canada. And then I set a, um, a set of parameters of interest that they have. So that's fine art, painting, G clay reproductions, 
uh, interior design. So it is going, that boostedextra post is going to go to people that fit within that um, parameter. Um, and potentially that is going to be new clients for me. It may reach people that haven't already seen my work. Um, it will also reach a lot of people who already like my work, um, which goes to the second post that I did. One of the options you have for boosting is to people who like your page or people who like your page and their friends. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's also um, an audience that I want to reach because people who like my page probably really like my art. And those are people who are potentially going to be interested in purchasing my art or at least interested in the fact that I have a sale. So the second post that we did, we boosted it to people who like my page and their friends. And by boosting it to their friends, it's usually people have friends who have similar interests, uh, at least some of them. So if people have already liked my page, uh, there's a very good chance that some of their Facebook friends might also like my page. So that's what we've done there. Now, Facebook, um, you used to be able to get very huge organic reach without boosting a post. Um, but obviously, Mark Zuckerberg uh, is in this business to make money. And so they changed it in the last year or so that it's really, really difficult, almost impossible to get that huge reach without at least boosting a post a little bit. Um, and then once you've boosted it, then that kind of organic viral thing can still kick in. So I find probably about four or five times a week, I will boost a post. Now, if I think it's a post that's going to be really, really popular, um, which for me is usually when a painting is close to finish, um, then I'll spend $10 on the boost. If it's a picture of me just starting a painting, I may not boost it at all, or I may spend $5 on boosting it. Um, and that just depends on what your budget is. But I do know, according to Gary Vaynerchuk, who all of you know is kind of my marketing guru, that Facebook advertising and boosted posts is probably the best, best value on earth right now for your marketing dollar. So if you, if you are in, in kind of looking forward to expand the reach of your work and uh, expand your audience, Facebook is a really, really good way to do that. And the boosted posts uh, can really add to that. Oh, so I mentioned yesterday that I would show you the video that we posted. So I'll show you an, an image and just a, of, of what we boosted on my Facebook page, um, which is just an image of me standing in front of, uh, standing in front of the work with just the caption 20% off and a little description of the, uh, the sale and then a link to my website. And then I'll run the video uh, right now um, so this is the video that we, we um, published on Facebook and boosted as well. Hello, welcome to my studio. I'm Tim Packer. I'm very pleased to announce the release of our new open edition framed paper prints. And to celebrate that release, we're offering a 20% discount store-wide on all of our G-Clay products. So that includes not only all of these new paper prints, but all of our canvas G-Clays as well. And that sale starts tonight at midnight and continues until Monday midnight of this weekend. Now we've been working for a while with our framer to try and create a presentation for our paper G clays um, that we can put on our online store um, and that we can ship without fear of breakage. Now we have had paper prints, limited edition paper prints offered for a while, but the problem with that was you could only get them from me directly or few, uh, through a very few galleries that actually carried them. We did not ship them because of the risk of breakage with glass. So the beautiful thing about these now is there's no glass involved. So these are Giclée prints on rag paper that is mounted on board and then given a coat of matte varnish. Now we have an unexpected benefit from this presentation that we didn't even anticipate. So with our typical presentation of the paper Giclées on glass, not only did we have the issue that we could not ship them because of the risk of breakage, but we had the issue of reflections. As I turn this, you can see the problem with glass in front of a print. That what you actually end up seeing, as much as the print itself, is whatever is reflected in that print. Particularly if you have a window or you have a light source near it, it can be almost impossible to actually get a good look at the image. Now, the added benefit of our new presentation is the fact that it's coated with a matte varnish and no glass means we don't have to worry about reflections. So you can hang this wherever you want without worrying about having a window opposite that it's going to ruin the effect. So 
that varnished finish gives a slightly textured, somewhat crackled finish when viewed close up. But as we move back, that softens and disappears to give you a beautiful matte finish that just has a slight softening because of the varnish. Now we've decided for our new editions that these are going to be open editions and we've chosen 10 images in the square format and we're offering those in sizes 8 by 8, 12 by 12 and 16 by 16. And then we also have four images in the large rectangle that are 21 by 28. Now these start at $169 for the smaller image. That includes framing and that includes free shipping anywhere in the US. And as I said, for this weekend only, there'll be a 20% discount on that. Now to get your discount, when you're processing your order on our Shopify store, you'll need to input the coupon code FBPRINT. So that's FB as in Facebook and then PRINT, all capital letters. And remember that sale is not just for our new paper prints, but it applies to all of our canvas editions as well. So to see more detail about these and our canvas editions, you can click on the tab at the top of my website for canvas giclés or paper giclés. And to make your purchase, you can click on our shop tab. So I hope to hear from you soon. I'm Tim Packer. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, as always, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. I welcome your comments and questions. I'm Tim Packer, and I thank you for your time.